Hello. For those of you out there who are in denial about the spread of the poison which is Islam and the Sharia law it brings with it in the UK, then please listen to the following words. Sharia law in the UK is now in penetration phase four. The UK now has over 3,000 mosques and converting empty church buildings into mosques has become one of the UK's cottage industries. UK formally recognised Sharia law courts in 2008 and the Archbishop of Canterbury, the head of the Church of England, conceded that adopting elements of the Sharia law into UK court system was unavoidable. Today, the UK has over 130 Sharia law courts, although they technically lie within the UK's tribunal court system, these Sharia courts have been issuing rulings that contradict UK common law. In 2011, the UK's Muslims began demanding that Sharia law replace British common law and <clears throat> become the only law in towns with large Muslim populations, including Birmingham, Bradford, Derby, Dewsbury, Leeds, Leicester, Liverpool, Luton, Manchester, Sheffield, Waltham Forest and Tower Hamlets, an East London Muslim enclave whose streets are already plastered with posters declaring that you are entering a Sharia controlled zone, Islamic rules enforced. And where Muslim Imams have issued death threats to women who refuse to wear the hijab. 62% of UK's Muslims men and 79% of the UK Muslim women do not work and instead live on government support today and Muslims comprise one third of Britain's high security prison inmates population. To more upscale Muslims, most of London's financial institutions have become Sharia compliant, which requires donating a portion of their profits to Muslim organisations designated by their Sharia compliance advisors. When he was Prime Minister, Gordon Brown declared that he wants London to become the Islamic financial capital of the world. His successor David Cameron more soberly said in 2011 that multiculturalism has been a failure and has promoted Islamic extremism across Europe. He admitted that the West had been cautious, frankly even fearful, of standing up to it and he concluded we have even tolerated these segregated communities behaving in ways that run completely counter to our values. This hands-off tolerance has only served to reinforce the sense that not enough is shared. What we see and what we see in so many European countries is a process of radicalization. Two years later in 2013, however, Cameron bowed to pressure from the banks and announced that Britain will become the first non-Muslim nation to issue Sharia compliant, compliant Islamic bonds, even declaring at the World Economic Islamic Forum that, I don't just want London to be a great capital of Islamic finance in the Western world, I want London to stand alongside Dubai as one of the great calif uh, capitals of Islamic finance anywhere in the world. In 2014, the British government bowed to pressure from groups linked with the Muslim Brotherhood and started requiring all British school children to complete a unit on the history of Islam, the religion of peace. The same year, 1,400 young white, mostly 12 to 14 year old girls were discovered to have been raped by Muslim men in Rotherham. In 2016, a Muslim became the mayor of London, where 40% of UK Muslims live. Today, the, major, uh, the mayors of Birmingham, Blackburn, Leeds, Luton, Oxford, Sheffield, and a growing number of UK towns are also Muslim, 
While 100% of the meat served in the UK schools is halal meat that has been sacrificed to the moon god, Allah.